Hi, so we've talked a lot on this channel about obesity, my binge eating disorder, weight loss, and what I went through when it comes to, you know, and other people, what they- Hi, don't mean to interrupt, but this is editing Michelle, just to say, sorry about the angle. I didn't even realize that half my freaking forehead was ripped off, but I'm also not going to refilm this video. It's only for about two minutes. Hang in there, I Wake promise up, it will be okay. Okay, back to the video. Went through and what they have to, and what people have to go through in order to lose a substantial amount of weight. There are some just amazing stories that we've covered and people that are just amazing who at one point were just so far gone until they decided to put their foot down, figuratively for some, cause some couldn't really move that well, and put in the work to get mentally and physically healthy. And so as I scroll through TikTok at things that subscribers have sent me, I am just always so shocked that in 2022, losing weight, watching what you eat, counting calories, saying no to a slice of cake, or asking for less cake, Virgie Tovar, is a negative thing and a habit of the evil diet culture that's creeping in the background. <laughs> waiting to give you an ED. And something that always gets me are the people who call losing weight and eating less a privilege. Weight loss is a privilege because it takes time and it takes money, which not everybody has access to. In some instances, if you are very low income, it can be very hard to lose weight. And here's why. You work maybe three or four jobs. On your way home, you don't have time to cook, so you pick up fast food. And then once you get home, you have to attend to your five children and all the money that you made during that day has to go to them. So you have no time to go on a walk, no money to get a gym membership, and you have to resort to fast food because that's all you can have time for. But what you need to understand is I don't owe you an excuse in exchange for my existence, nor do I owe you any kind of weight loss. So if I am happy being fat, I can be because fat people aren't just failed thin people. Yeah, she seems really happy, right? <laughs> she obviously, this woman's very happy, just like all these radicals, very, very happy. She says you need a fancy gym membership to lose weight. You need, you know, a, a delivery service from Whole Foods. to lose. No, you don't. No, you don't. What you do need is discipline. And that's hard. And there are different points in people's lives and they've got more discipline or less discipline. But do you know how you lose weight? You just eat less. That's how. How dare you? And they're usually the same people that post what I eat in a day videos and they show them eating an abundance of food, uh, a lot of food that some people can't even afford. And then in the same breath, will give off the impression that they just can't lose weight. I don't get irritated often with the whole internet culture because I'm not gonna let a bunch of idiots get me upset about something when I can just turn off the internet and go watch SpongeBob. But they got me. They got you, girl with this one. I'm a little irritated that many people in this body positive movement say, well, some people just can't lose weight. It's not in their genetic. They do everything they can, but they can't lose weight. It's just not possible. Not everyone's meant to lose weight, you know, like Lizzo. She works out so much and she just can't lose weight. That's literally her body. And as I was going through my day, making decisions on what to eat, measuring out my freaking pretzels because I'll eat way too much of them. So I have to weigh them out on a food scale instead of mindlessly just eating handfuls of them, prepping my meals through the day. So when I'm having a very vulnerable moment and see the bag of Halloween candy that's still in my pantry, that I can eat all of it and still be hungry. I can make a healthier choice and eat an actual balanced, already prepped out meal because I'm having a moment of weakness. As I was going through all that, I said, F these people. You know the whole fuck kid? No, F these people. Weight loss is a privilege. I want to make my choices that I make throughout the day and other people who work hard to achieve a certain body a privilege and the choices that they make be some type of victim card. And also somehow they get an award for just sitting there and being lazy and eating junk food. It started resonating with me and it got me very pissed. So I got my makeup on. I grabbed my camera and here I am, baby. So today I just wanted to show you why you're fat and I'm not. This video is sponsored by me and my new channels. This channel will be turning into an all fitness, weight loss, fat chick, weird fitness folks type channel. And my second channel, my secret channel, shh, only my close friends know about this. Michelle McDaniel After Dark will be reality shows, odd things I see on TikTok, true crime, darkness, and everything in between. I also have a new movie channel that I would love for you to come and watch horrible movies with me. All of these things are linked down below for your convenience. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel and I hope you become part of the other channels too. Please don't click off this video. It hurts the video and the channel when you do that. Please do this at the end of the video. Don't worry, I'll remind you. So let me take you through my day. First thing I do is drink one to two cups of water while my dogs wait for their food. I take them outside and for a one to two mile walk, yes, little Rigby does all that walking. 
Now for my food. I didn't have my normal food in the fridge, but I saw hot links and eggs and decided to add a protein shake. I noticed that my boyfriend drank the last of the almond milk when I dropped the egg yolks in the trash. I had a temper tantrum and decided to just use water, which is not my favorite, but it's fine, I guess. My dog seemed to think that I had a bountiful and delicious plate of food. After I eat, I make tea. Don't pay attention to the word detox, that's the pesky diet culture doing their thing again. What you should pay attention to is dandelion root. It helped me a lot through my endometriosis, my crazy bloat, and digestion issues. I love it in the morning before I start my day. While the tea is a brewing, we play chase. And then it's time to slap a face on my face to film. This video, actually. After filming, it's time to eat again, but I was also feeling a bit snacky, which can get you in a bit of trouble. I can make a whole snack be a whole day's worth of food. So as my rice cooked, I weighed out my enlightened ice cream. You guys, I love this ice cream, maybe even more than Halo, I think. I think they changed their recipe and it tastes way creamier than what I had a few years ago. So I measured it out and write down exactly what I eat because I will most definitely eat all of it if I didn't know a general number. Between bites, I chase Rigby some more and then weigh out my ice cream again to take the difference and do the calculations of how much I ate and then of course, write it all down. So I thought I'd show you my outfit before we leave and get on the road to get stuff. Oh shit, they're stuck on nails, not glued on. So they're just gonna come off. I do them for videos. Anyway, this is the outfit, see-through top or like sheer top, jeggings to the people. Like some of you guys get annoyed that I wear jeggings, but, and also kiss it. And then I got these cute shoes that still has the tag on it from the shoe store that I can't remember the name of because it's not Ross. They're supposed to be like comfortable hiking boots. Your girl don't hike, I don't do nature, but we are going to Disneyland where I will be hiking in Disneyland. Let's go to the stove. So since I'm leaving, I don't want to be hungry while I'm out, especially grocery shopping, and buy more than I need or buy food that I'll eat right then and there. Because one, food is just expensive, and two, it's always high in calories when I eat out. So I make sure to eat a balanced meal before I leave. Just some chicken, rice, salsa, sour cream. I did have some broccoli that you don't see, and my fruit, which is an apple. And now it's time to venture off to the grocery store with a sweet tooth. Yes, I drink water. Yes, I ate a meal, but, but for the ones that don't know, I am a sugar addict and I'm always down to just <sighs> sniff sugar, okay? It's that bad. All right, let's stop being dramatic. I'm a grown woman. Let's take accountability and get exactly what's on the list. Let's go shopping. Okay, I know I said I'm a grown-up, but it's still a big deal to not buy all the things that I want to buy at the store. Sprouts has that bakery section, and I used to literally buy anything and everything I wanted and waste all my money to just binge and then feel bad afterwards. A little pat on the butt from you guys would be nice, y'all. After shopping, I was pretty snacky again when I got home. I actually didn't eat all of my apple during lunch, so I ate the rest of that as I checked my emails. I also measured out a half a walnut. Some think, well, it's just a half a walnut. Let me tell you that my just a half a walnut can easily turn into a handful and then the whole bag. I don't listen to people who say, that's diet culture. Well, it's just a, no. They clearly don't hear me when I say I have a food addiction problem. I personally am not going to listen to people who don't understand that and are not skilled when it comes to food addiction and, and lastly, not skilled on my disorder. Also, people in these communities that say I just can't lose weight, you're gonna tell me you weigh out half a walnut because I don't believe you. Let me just say, I was that it's just a half a walnut, it's just a handful of chips, it's just a couple pieces of candy, they add up. And once you see how much they add up, it opens your eyes. So I just like to measure mine out because it's very easy for me to go back to bad habits and snack on food that won't keep me full and it doesn't hurt me to ride out a half a walnut. It does nothing except keep me accountable. So then I started making chili for dinner. I love cooking in bulk because during the week I am very busy so I like to just warm it up and get back to work. And yes, I count the calories when it comes to bulk. It just takes some basic math, which let me remind you, your girl was on the struggle bus in school when it came to math. But if you went to elementary school, you can do this. I weigh out all the ingredients. Yes, anything I put in there that will contribute to the weight, I weigh it out, write it down, do the calculations, and then total up the grams and the calories for the whole pot. The number I get is how many calories are in the whole pot. Then I take my serving and do the calculations for myself. 
So in this pot, there was a total of 1,203 grams of foods and a total of 796.6 calories. And each gram of chili I eat, it will be 0.6 calories. And I am always someone who has to end my day with dessert. I didn't have any more proto, link below by the way. Yeah, I plugged my own product because I love it. So since I couldn't get that, I made myself a low calorie oatmeal cookie. I have been craving oatmeal cookies and because it was lower calories than normal, I put some almond butter on top. The recipe you ask, I know you want it. Honestly, all you have to do is find any basic oatmeal cookie recipe. I just typed in oatmeal cookie recipe and swapped the butter with applesauce and only added a few raisins and left out the nuts because I prefer PB or almond butter on top. But this is an example of how I eat. I am a huge believer in counting calories for someone like myself who loves to overeat, loves the feeling of overeating, but also wants to maintain a certain aesthetic and keep their health in check. So now that you see that I will literally weigh pretty much everything out, do you think the Tess Holidays, the Virgie Tovars, the Fat Talk Warriors who claim they've done everything are doing this? So I really recommend if you are someone who has tried everything to ask yourself, have you tried everything, truly? You can lie to me, but you can't lie to yourself. I personally hate that phrase. I just can't lose weight. That's such an easy thing to say, and you deserve so much more than easy. Stay healthy, y'all, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to my other channels. We have so much content coming for the new year and I would love for you to be a part of it. Thank you so much.